Okay, I am on uh, an iPhone and I'm going to show you how to use the Microsoft Lens scanning tool. So I'm going to go to my app store and I'm going to look for the Microsoft Lens. So I'm just going to start typing Microsoft, Microsoft Lens, L-E-N-S, Microsoft Lens. There it is. Now, usually when you do something like this, it's going to put something that's paid to be promoted on the top. So we usually want to skip that. So here's Microsoft Lens. It's going to be right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this. So I'm going to hit that little cloud. I've downloaded this before on different devices. You may have to um, put in your, your Apple ID or your Google ID or your Google Pay or whatever it happens to be. Um, this is going to take a second to download. Um, and once it downloads, we're going to be all ready to um, scan documents. Now, one of the nice things about this app is it works on uh, Androids and iPhones just the same way. It doesn't make any difference which one it is. So I can demonstrate it here on an iPhone, and it's going to work the same either way. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And when we get to the open screen, it just describes that what we've got is a pocket scanner. You can see that what's on the screen is oriented in landscape mode. You can scan either way, and you can also rotate uh, within there. It goes through a little thing, how to save and edit, and then save it to different things. This is designed to work really well with, um, with Microsoft products, uh, like Microsoft Office um, and their OneDrive and different things like that. So we're going to go ahead and allow access. Um, this talks about privacy and stuff like that. Um, we're going to accept the fact that they're going to uh, use some data and things like that. You can also decline, I think. Um, and then we're just going to click OK. Um, and then it says we need to give it access to our camera. So I'm going to go ahead and give it access to the camera. I'm going to click OK. And here we are. I've got a bunch of pictures that I took before. And if you were watching the video that I had, um, you know where those came from. So we've got some options down at the bottom. Now, I actually have a document that I'm going to be scanning in just a second. So what we want to look at is you can scan a whiteboard, you can scan a document, business cards, photos, and different things like that. We're going to scan a document. So I'm going to do this. Now, the cool thing about this is um, I've got this document right here. This happens to be a math worksheet. And you'll notice that I've got some, um, some uh, shadows on this. So if we make sure that we have kind of a clear picture, I'm going to scoot over so that, that that's not on there. And you'll notice that um, what this does is it automatically um, puts the document in this little orange box. So I'm going to go ahead and capture the document by clicking the button to take a picture. And you'll notice that it automatically grabs each one of the corners. Now, it does that automatically uh, based off this button up on the top here. Um, it slid over. If you want to adjust the edges of the scan, each one separately, you're welcome to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and confirm this. So there's the first one. And notice that it makes it look really nice. Um, if you want to zoom in and take a look, and yep, there's the work for it. Everything looks good there. Now, at the bottom of the page, we've got something that looks like a camera with a plus. We've got some filters. We could put some filters filters on here. We could go black and white. That looks okay. We could go whiteboard. That actually looks pretty good. This lightens it up just a little bit. Um, I'm going to say we look at none. Um, that black and white one looks pretty darn good. We could go grayscale. I do have a document underneath it, and maybe that wasn't a good idea, but I'm going to go ahead and go with black and white. That looks pretty darn good there. Okay, now um, I'm going to click up here, and I'm going to say that uh, we want to look at more. You can also rotate it and stuff like that. We might do that in a minute. In order to get back to this, I just click inside the document. Now I'm going to add another um, page to this because I actually have more than one page. There's the front page and here's the back page. Now this is probably going to look a little bit better uh, because I don't have another document underneath that to kind of bleed through. Now you might notice and think, well, you're doing this wrong. This doesn't look very good. So I'm going to go ahead and take the picture. I'm going to confirm. And then you'll notice um, at the bottom of this, <clears throat> as we're looking at it, the little uh, orange box with the triangle or orange circle with the triangle. It has a two by it. That means we've captured two documents. Once we're ready to go and we've got all the documents that we need, I'm going to go ahead and click that button and it's going to bring it over here and I can slide back and forth. There's one of two and there's two of two. Now you can tell the difference. This one was black and white. It had a filter on it. This one doesn't look bad. It's, it's totally fine right there, except for you'll notice that it's upside down. Now, again, down on the bottom row, you'll notice that we've got the filters. If I wanted to filter that one, let's say I wanted to go black and white and see what it would look like. If we like that, then great. 
We'll click back in here. The biggest problem with this one is it's not oriented the right way. So I'm gonna click that triple dot menu. If you haven't seen this, a lot of times the things that you want are hidden in that triple dot menu. So I'm gonna hit triple dot and I wanna rotate this. So it'll rotate 90 degrees at a time. Now it's right side up. I wanna say I'm done with this and I wanna access the, the done with that so I can uh, export this. Now, once I click done, let me go back here and show you again. I click the done button. It comes over here to export. Now you can export it to a whole bunch of different things. Probably the easiest thing to do is just to export it to a PDF. So I'm gonna click PDF and I'm gonna store it on my phone storage. And there it is right there. Now I'm gonna come back here, go back. Um, and then we've got everything we need there. Um, I'm gonna go back even some more. Now, um, this is the original scanning document. If I go right here, um, I can actually delete each one of these because I've already stored it as a PDF. So if I wanna delete, delete, and hit delete. So now I have no images stored on this app or anything like that, but I do wanna access where are those files. So if I click files, there's that one that I stored before. So if we hit the triple dot menu, it says delete or cancel. So we definitely don't wanna delete that. But if you just tap on the document, it's gonna take this up to full screen. You can take a look at it one more time, make sure that it looks good. Um, maybe we would have chosen a different filter because this looks a little bit crappy on that one. That one looks pretty darn good, that second page. Um, but the way we export this is we hit the little square with the arrow on it. This is pretty standard. And again, I'm on an iPhone, but Androids are pretty much the same. And then it's gonna bring up things that I can uh, attach it to. I can send it to people. Um, or um, I want you to notice this right here. We could email it to somebody. We could put it in our drive. We could put it in our notes. There's lots of different things, but here's what we're going to do. Notice that I have um, the student Canvas app installed. So I'm going to click student. And I can click, I can make some comments. I can click the course that I want to put it in. I happen to be in two courses right now. So I'm going to do Elkridge Faculty Lounge. And I can click the assignment. There's only one assignment that it's going to let me do that for. And then I'd click submit and it's already ready to go. Now I'm not going to submit that because I, I don't want to do that. But I do want to slide down here. You can save it to your files. You could print it. You could do a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, but those are ways that you could get that there. Again, um, uh, we click the, the send arrow. So this is going to be a uh, square with an arrow on it. And I want to do the uh, Canvas student app. And then we just pick the course and pick the assignment that we want to send it to. Um, click that, click submit, make comments, and we're all set to go. That's probably the best place to do it, but there are lots of different places you can store that. But again, it's always stored on your phone. And I'm gonna click back here. This is the kind of the home screen here. And to get to the, the files that you've stored, again, triple dot menu up in this upper corner here. We go to files and then click on that and we're all set to go. All right, hopefully this app really makes scanning documents and making them PDFs um, really easy for you. PDFs are the easiest thing for your teacher to grade and to look at and view in Canvas. Really makes it easy. So if you've got any questions, please make sure you ask your teacher. And other than that, good luck.